Amelin, Wikipedia article audio. 1KUW, 2G48, 2KB8, 2L86, 3FPO, 3FR1, 3FTH, 3FTK, 3FTL, 3FTR, 3G7V, 3G7W, 3HGZ, 3DG1. NM000415, NM0013292201. Synthesis Regulation NM01491 NP000406 NP0013161330 NP034621 Amylin, or islet amyloid polypeptide, is a 37 residue peptide hormone. It is coscreted with insulin from the pancreatic beta cells in the ratio of approximately 100 colon 1. Amylin plays a role in glycemic regulation by slowing gastric emptying and promoting satiety, thereby preventing postprandial spikes in blood glucose levels. IAPP is processed from an 89 residue coding sequence. Perwazolt amyloid polypeptide is produced in the pancreatic beta cells as a 67 amino acid, 7404 Dalton propeptide and undergoes post-translational modifications including protease cleavage to produce amylin. Function Pro-IAPP consists of 67 amino acids which follow a 22 amino acid signal peptide which is rapidly cleaved after translation of the 89 amino acid coding sequence. The human sequence is Tpish kvikrkdat katkralanfalvazes nfgalzes tunvintig kr navevel kreplanolpl Structure Once released from the signal peptide, it undergoes additional proteolysis and post-translational modification. Eleven amino acids are removed from the N-terminus by the enzyme proprotein convertase II while sixteen are removed from the C-terminus of the pro-IAPP molecule by proprotein convertase one-third. At the C-terminus carboxypeptidase E then removes the terminal lysine and arginine residues. The terminal glycine amino acid that results from this cleavage allows the enzyme peptidyl glycine alpha amidating monooxygenase to add an amine group. Finally, a disulfide bond is formed between cysteine residues numbers 2 and 7. After this the transformation from the precursor protein pro-IAPP to the biologically active IAPP is complete. Insulin and IAPP are regulated by similar factors since they share a common regulatory promoter motif. The IAPP promoter is also activated by stimuli which do not affect insulin, such as tumor necrosis factor alpha and fatty acids. One of the defining features of type 2 diabetes is insulin resistance. This is a condition wherein the body is unable to utilize insulin effectively, resulting in increased insulin production, since proinsulin and pro-IAPP are coscreted, this results in an increase in the production of pro-IAPP as well. Although little is known about IAPP regulation, its connection to insulin indicates that regulatory mechanisms that affect insulin also affect IAPP. Thus blood glucose levels play an important role in regulation of pro-IAPP synthesis. History Amylin functions as part of the endocrine pancreas and contributes to glycemic control. The peptide is secreted from the pancreatic islets into the blood circulation and is cleared by peptidases in the kidney. It is not found in the urine. Clinical Significance Amylin's metabolic function is well characterized as an inhibitor of the appearance of nutrient in the plasma. 
It thus functions as a synergistic partner to insulin, with which it is co-secreted from pancreatic beta cells in response to meals. The overall effect is to slow the rate of appearance of glucose in the blood after eating, this is accomplished via coordinate slowing down gastric emptying, inhibition of digestive secretion, and a resulting reduction in food intake. Appearance of new glucose in the blood is reduced by inhibiting secretion of the gluconeogenic hormone glucagon. These actions, which are mostly carried out via a glucose-sensitive part of the brain stem, the area post-rema, may be overridden during hypoglycemia. They collectively reduce the total insulin demand. Pharmacology Amylin also acts in bone metabolism, along with the related peptides calcitonin and calcitonin gene-related peptide. Rodent amylin knockouts do not have a normal reduction of appetite following food consumption. Because it is an imitated peptide, like many neuropeptides, it is believed to be responsible for the effect on appetite. Receptors the human form of IAPP has the amino acid sequence Ktat Katkralanfalvases and Fgales is Tunvinti, with a disulfide bridge between cysteine residues 2 and 7. Both the imitated C terminus and the disulfide bridge are necessary for the full biological activity of amylin. IAPP is capable of forming amyloid fibrils in vitro. Within the fibrillization reaction, the early prefibrillar structures are extremely toxic to beta cell and insuloma cell cultures. Later amyloid fiber structures also seem to have some cytotoxic effect on cell cultures. Studies have shown that fibrils are the end product and not necessarily the most toxic form of amyloid proteins slash peptides in general. A non-fibril forming peptide is toxic like the full-length peptide but the respective segment of rat amylin is not. It was also demonstrated by solid-state NMR spectroscopy that the fragment 20-29 of the human amylin fragments membranes. Rats and mice have six substitutions that are believed to prevent the formation of amyloid fibrils although not completely as seen by its propensity to form amyloid fibrils in vitro. Rat IAPP is non-toxic to beta cells when overexpressed in transgenic rodents. IAPP was identified independently by two groups as the major component of diabetes-associated islet amyloid deposits in 1987. The difference in nomenclature is largely geographical. European researchers tend to prefer IAPP whereas American researchers tend to prefer amylin. Some researchers discourage the use of amylin on the grounds that it may be confused with the pharmaceutical company. Pro-IAPP has been linked to type 2 diabetes and the loss of islet beta cells. Islet amyloid formation, initiated by the aggregation of pro-IAPP, may contribute to this progressive loss of islet beta cells. It is thought that pro-IAPP forms the first granules that allow for IAPP to aggregate and form amyloid which may lead to amyloid-induced apoptosis of beta cells. IAPP is co-secreted with insulin. Insulin resistance in type 2 diabetes produces a greater demand for insulin production which results in the secretion of proinsulin. Pro-IAPP is secreted simultaneously, however, the enzymes that convert these precursor molecules into insulin and IAPP, respectively, are not able to keep up with the high levels of secretion, ultimately leading to the accumulation of pro-IAPP. In particular, the impaired processing of pro-IAPP that occurs at the N-terminal cleavage site is a key factor in the initiation of amyloid. Post-translational modification of pro-IAPP occurs at both the carboxy terminus and the amino terminus, however, 
the processing of the amino terminus occurs later in the secretory pathway. This might be one reason why it is more susceptible to impaired processing under conditions where secretion is in high demand. Thus, the conditions of type 2 diabetes high glucose concentrations and increased secretory demand for insulin and IAPP could lead to the impaired N-terminal processing of pro-IAPP. The unprocessed pro-IAPP can then serve as the nidus upon which IAPP can accumulate and form amyloid. The amyloid formation might be a major mediator of apoptosis, or programmed cell death, in the islet beta cells. Initially, the pro-IAPP aggregates within secretory vesicles inside the cell. The pro-IAPP acts as a seed collecting matured IAPP within the vesicles, forming intracellular amyloid. When the vesicles are released, the amyloid grows as it collects even more IAPP outside the cell. The overall effect is an apoptosis cascade initiated by the influx of ions into the beta cells. In summary, Impaired N-terminal processing of pro-IAPP is an important factor initiating amyloid formation and beta cell death. These amyloid deposits are pathological characteristics of the pancreas in type 2 diabetes. However, it is still unclear as to whether amyloid formation is involved in or merely a consequence of type 2 diabetes. Nevertheless, it is clear that amyloid formation reduces working beta cells in patients with type 2 diabetes. This suggests that repairing pro-IAPP processing may help to prevent beta cell death, thereby offering hope as a potential therapeutic approach for type 2 diabetes. Amyloid deposits deriving from islet amyloid polypeptide are commonly found in pancreatic islets of patients suffering diabetes mellitus type 2, or containing an insulinoma cancer. While the association of amylin with the development of type 2 diabetes has been known for some time, its direct role as the cause has been harder to establish. Recent results suggest that amylin, like the related beta amyloid associated with Alzheimer's disease, can induce apoptotic cell death in insulin-producing beta cells, an effect that may be relevant to the development of type 2 diabetes. A 2008 study reported a synergistic effect for weight loss with leptin and amylin co-administration in diet-induced obese rats by restoring hypothalamic sensitivity to leptin. However, in clinical trials, the study was halted at Phase 2 in 2011 when a problem involving antibody activity that might have neutralized the weight loss effect of metroleptin in two patients who took the drug in a previously completed clinical study. The study combined metroleptin, a version of the human hormone leptin, and pramlintide, which is amylin's diabetes drug simlin into a single obesity therapy. Finally, a recent proteomics study showed that human amylin shares common toxicity targets with beta amyloid, providing evidence that type 2 diabetes and Alzheimer's disease share common toxicity mechanisms. A synthetic analogue of human amylin with proline substitutions in positions 25, 26 and 29 or pramlintide, was approved in 2005 for adult use in patients with both diabetes mellitus type 1 and diabetes mellitus type 2. Insulin and pramlintide, injected separately but both before a meal, work together to control the postprandial glucose excursion. Amylin is degraded in part by insulin degrading enzyme. There appear to be at least three distinct receptor complexes that bind with high affinity to amylin. All three complexes contain the calcitonin receptor at the core, plus one of three receptor activity modifying proteins, RIMP1, RIMP2, or RIMP3.